crowdfunding is very much about people supporting you and then supporting your idea. They're supporting the fact that you're passionate about what you're doing and that you are the only person who can make and achieve what you're setting out to do. So communicating that through video is ideal, um, as well as the fact that people have really short attention spans. So everyone generally presses play, in the first 30 seconds they decide, and then they pick their reward. A lot of people have plans of social media, so they'll have, oh, in the first like week we're gonna focus on um, the people who are behind the project, and the second week we're gonna talk about like cool things that are happening part, as part of the project, like interesting events we're running. Majority of people focus on Facebook and Twitter just because they're the best tools for communicating um, a project in that you have visuals, you have video, and you have links. As soon as you see that there's activity on a page, that there's people like pledging, that like it's a cool thing, and that there's engagement there, people are like, oh, it's not as risky. Like I can be part of that too, and I want to be part of it. Like I don't want to be left out. So if you can get a project um, that has about 30% of its target in the first few days, you see that its success rates jump up to 80 to 90%. So it's basically about risk factor. You're trying to convince your audience to trust you and to trust you enough to share it with their friends and then their friends and their friends.